final approach to Los Angeles. The temperature is a balmy 76 degrees. It's a beautiful day out there. Thanks for flying with us, and we look forward to seeing you again. I'd like to deposit this in the new account. Okay. And I'll need to see your corporate resolutions. Microspan Corporation. Hmm. What kind of business are you in? Software. Up in San Jose? Yes. I'm based there, but I'm opening an office here in Los Angeles. Mm. I like San Jose. Hmm. Are you from there? Where are you from? Minneapolis. You're kidding. So am I. Wow. It's a small world. <laughs> oh, I hated the winters. Nine months of the year, I'd stay indoors and pig out. I moved here and have lost 30 pounds so far. What high school did you go to? New Brighton High School. There isn't any New Brighton High School. Wow. Oh. There was when I was there. Oh. Well, maybe I'm just confused. <laughs> it happens a lot. What was the name of that high school, though? The one on third, just across I'm, from... I'm sorry, but I'm very late for a meeting. Will this take long? No, not at all. Just another minute. Thank you. you have a very pleasant way about you. Thank you, Mr. Carney. Agent Rains, how would you like to give a colleague a ride home? Why do you keep flirting with me? Am I flirting with you? You know it can't possibly go anywhere, so I keep doing it. Maybe it's because I know it can't possibly go anywhere. Come on, give me a lift. I'll buy you an ice cream. No further obligation. <laughs> oh, boy. I've never worked with a female agent before. How many are there? About 125. Hmm. Pure window dressing. Excuse me? Window dressing. About 125 out of a little over 2,000. They have you all around so the president can look good to his feminist voters. Do you make an effort to be obnoxious, or is it a gift? It's a gift. Let's face it, half the things we do are window dressing. Take running alongside that limousine. I had to take a hand of tank missile to put a dent in that damn thing. There we are out for show, trying to make the president look more presidential. So if I'm here to court the feminist vote, what demographics do you represent? Let's see. White piano playing heterosexuals over the age of 50. They ain't a whole lot of us, but uh, we do have a powerful lobby. Well, time flies when you're being annoyed. Where are you going? I have a date. Well. That's none of your business. You want a ride? I don't think so. I like it here this time of day. I think I'll hang out. Okay, well, thanks for the ice cream. See ya. You're welcome. If she looks back, that means she's interested. Come on now, give me a little look. A little glance back. And give me that smug look and be on your way. Well, Abe, <clears throat> damn, wish I could have been there for you, pal. I 
I'm sorry I didn't mean to startle you. Mr. Carney? I got your address from the phone book. But I'm not listed. Uh-oh. Well, I suppose I better come clean. Um, I, I followed you. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this. I'm, I'm new in town. I was wondering if you would care to join me for dinner tonight. That's, that's very sweet, but I... And I also wanted to apologize for lying to you this afternoon. We both know that I'm not from Minneapolis. I shouldn't ask so many questions. Did you, did you mention our conversation to anyone at the bank this afternoon? No. May I? Rory, settle down! Settle down! Pam, what's going on? Oh, hi. Hi. This is my roommate, Sally. This is Mr. Carney. Jim, call me Jim. How do you do? Nice to meet you. I was just on my way out. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't let you ladies leave this evening. What? You shouldn't have been from Minneapolis. Look, Mr. Carney, I don't know what you want, but... Oh, <laughs> 